they have said today, um, told us that um, that they have got that they're going to, with this increased access to monitor this this plan, mm -hmm. um, that that still falls short of what they need to investigate um, a lot of this stuff properly. What kind of um, access would you like to see? And and also, if they don't have the access to do this properly, how do you stay with um, <coughs> uh, those in Congress? who are arguing for greater sanctions against well, Iran. Well, uh, uh, in terms of uh, the congressional aspect of this, I think the fact that, uh, we, have a con that we have taken a concrete, uh, tangible step by implementing this agreement. Again, you asked about access. Uh, you asked all the things that Iran will be doing in terms of stopping 20% uh, enrichments. Uh, all of the things they've committed to do that will start happening on the 20th, I think uh, we, will we would make the case to Congress that for all of the people that have talked about diplomacy and wanting diplomatic solution here, we are making concrete and tangible progress. We have a long way to go, uh, but no one should do anything that could possibly derail that process. This is the best chance we've had for a diplomatic resolution uh, forever to the Iranian uh, nuclear program, and who knows when we'll get this chance again. So we would tell Congress that they shouldn't take any steps that could derail that process, uh, for any reason, uh, because it is a very delicate diplomatic situation, and we need to give our team and our experts uh, the space uh, to get this done.